I'm here to talk about success. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. 74% hate their job in America. The majority of people don't like what they're doing because they're really not doing it because they didn't have a goal and they followed this goal. They just aimlessly drift around and then all of a sudden they, there's a job opening so they get the job because you have to work. But then when you work, it's a chore. It's work. It's not fun. So if you think about only a quarter of the people really enjoy what they're doing in life. So people always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And I told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for gold. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision turn into reality. Every single set that I do, every repetition, every weight that I lift will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound bench press. I couldn't wait to do another 2,000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise. So let me tell you something, visualizing your goal and going after it makes it fun. You've got to have a purpose no matter what you do in life. You've got to have a purpose. And Muhammad Ali worked his butt off. And I saw it firsthand. And I remember that there was a sports rider that was there in the gym and he was working out and he was doing sit-ups. And they asked him, how many sit-ups do you do? And he said, I don't start counting until it hurts. Now think about that. He doesn't start counting his sit-ups until he feels pain. That's when he starts counting. That is working hard. And so you can't get around the hard work. It doesn't matter who it is. Work your ass off. There is no magic pill. There is no magic out there. You cannot get around. You have to work and work and work. Make sure of this and make sure of that and all that stuff. So it's work. And it drives me crazy when people say that they don't have enough time to go to the gym for 45 minutes a day and work out. Or to do something for 45 minutes to an hour a day to improve. If it is physically improve or if it is mentally to improve. Imagine you read one hour a day about history. How much you will learn after 365 hours in one year. Think about if you study about the history of musicians, of composers, how much you would know. Imagine if you would work on the business, on some business that you want to develop every day for an hour. Imagine how further along you will go and get. So it drives me nuts because we have, when people say we don't have the time, we have 24 hours a day. We sleep six hours a day. So it gives you still 18 hours. Now there's someone shaking their head out here in front to say probably, I don't sleep six hours, I sleep eight hours, right? I went to college. I went and worked out five hours a day. And I was working on construction. Because in those days in bodybuilding, there was no money. We didn't, I didn't have the money for food supplements or anything. So I had to go to work. So I worked in construction. I went to college. I worked out in the gym and at night from 8 o'clock at night to 12 midnight. I went to acting class four times a week. So I did all of that. There was not one single minute that I wasted.